Hey guys, it's Erin and Jenny with Revisions Mentor. Hi. <laughs> and today we are going to go over who you need on your team to be successful stagers. This is our question of the week and we're coming at this a little differently for the first time. I am in Minnesota and Erin's at home in Wilmington and times are changing and we're going with the flow. We still want to show up for you guys and still asking questions and that means we're going to give you answers yes so today the question of the week is who who do you need on your team and um, there, there's this is a really important group of people that keep our business going um, yeah, we've got a whole, whole slew of people that we really count on um, to make things run smoothly for us yes and so I guess we would start with movers who we can rely on um, mm -hmm. Having people who you know are going to show up on time, who are organized, who are respectful, who take care of your stuff, um, who work efficiently, and uh, and you know you know who you can rely on time and time again. That's a really really important part of our team. Right, and that means I think for us having more than one one mover. You know, we have we actually have two different movers that we call because. Sometimes we're doing a staging job last minute and our mover's not available. We've got to have more than one in our back pocket, I think. And um, and the other part of that is sometimes we do the moving ourselves with the U-Haul. So um, we have people that we know that we can hire you know, for a day's work. And um, we've got you know, a short list of, of those folks as well that we count on to do the heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah, and then we have our kind of go-to people for um, to to rent our U-Hauls that we can kind of call them up and say, "Hey, we need a you know a 26 foot long truck or a 16 foot long truck, and we're picking it up tomorrow morning at 8:30, and they'll have it ready to go for us." Yeah, and we have those in different counties depending. So we go to you know this U-Haul rental for that county and this U-Haul rental for another county. Yeah, yeah. Those people are super important. I mean, our movers are our most important people, but then I think also um, our group of subcontractors are pretty yeah. important for us as well. Yeah, absolutely. The, the you know, our painters and our, our uh, handymen and our lawn guys. So when we do those walkthroughs for, for a staging consultation, if it's an occupied staging, we can not only say, you know, you need to fix this crack in the ceiling, but we can also say, and here's the name and number of a guy who can do it for you, who we vetted and we know and we trust, and mm -hmm. we know he's gonna do a great job and he's not going to price gouge them. And um, we have this really great, you know, group of people who, who, we, who we trust tremendously and they have such a big impact on our business. Yeah, and they're, um, I mean, they're tried and true. Right. tried and true i mean we know the quality of their work we know what they're going to do and our clients are you know our customers who are hiring us for this staging occupied staging walkthroughs they don't have to use our vendor list um, but it's it's an extra part of the service that we offer you know here mm -hmm. here are our people we know the quality of their work you know we know they're going to show up we know they're going to get the job done and they're going to do it right and um you know, our clients can use them or not so. exactly exactly also, our um, our real estate agents. Yeah, they're critical. They're a critical part of our team. I mean, we count on them for a lot of stuff, right? A lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, for networking opportunities, and uh, you know, there are a handful of, of real estate agents in our in our uh, in our network who are just scrappy and creative, and they're they're getting after it just like us. So they'll see yeah. opportunities to support us and we'll do the same to support them in every way that we possibly can. And it's great to work with other really creative minds who can, you know, who, who use their resources around them and they're always kind of on it, you know? Yeah. And it's a super good cooperative effort, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're helping us and we're helping them. We're helping them get their homes sold yeah. really quickly and, you know, them back to us repeatedly for you know work so exactly beautiful thing it is okay. a beautiful thing. 
it is a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, we're, we're also really into supporting local businesses, small businesses. So, you know, having, um, having a go-to person, you know, there are a couple of people we can pick up the phone and call who own furniture stores or furniture repurposing kind of um, businesses. And we can say, hey, we need a coffee table by Thursday. Can you get one for us? Or, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, the, um, the furniture stores, definitely. We've got some great partnerships there. Um, we've talked before about how we work sometimes with local artists mm -hmm. to, um, you know, bring opportunity you know, into play, which is mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. And our sales reps are also really important. Um, we have a couple of, of those, uh, you know, wholesale accounts and, and um, people who we do repeated business with. And we know that we can pick up the phone and call the sales rep and say, hey, we need a living room set with this sofa, two chairs, a rug, it's an eight by 10, you know, and this, 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 put it in your cart and you pay for it right away over the phone. You can go ahead and have that shipment ready. So it takes away a lot of the shopping and the running around and hunting. And, you know, it's a huge time saver. And again, we're helping them and they're helping us. Right. And those people are so in, so invaluable to us. They really save us a ton of time. And we have some we have sales reps locally as well. So it's not just our wholesale um, vendor accounts. It's mm -hmm. local shops. Our, we have a local lighting store that we work with. We mm -hmm. can call her up and tell her what we're looking for. And, you know, boom, boom, she puts those pieces together and we can kind of make that work. And we have a local um, design shop um, that provides... You know, furnish furnishings and accessories. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, and that kind of leads in, into another aspect of this business. And if you're, if you choose to go into design, which kind of goes hand in hand with staging. Um, and we have done some of that in, in our, um, in the past few years. Um, and we found that the easiest way to go about that, while it's not the most lucrative way as the designer, um, is to funnel all of your business through, one local store. So we found one store here in town called Moran Home and they have the most beautiful aesthetic and we love their style and we love the ladies who own it and it's a family owned business and they're just, they're wonderful and they're so easy to work with, right? And we would just have clients meet us there in their showroom and help them make their selections and it was like a one-stop shop. So, yeah. you know, we didn't have to break our necks sourcing out each individual piece from different vendors and you know the the client's happy they can choose everything they can touch everything they have all the materials there and then you know our our um store owners are happy too and if you'd like more information about moran home you can click on the link below and check out their store it's stunning yeah wilmington people look they're fabulous yeah yeah they sure are yeah. so um who else who else do we have on our team erin i'm trying to think um so we have some of the i don't know Technical is the right word for it, but our accountant right. and um, some of those people who we actually rely on uh, fairly regularly, right, to answer questions and help us with some of the logistics of, you know, paying taxes and yeah. that sort of thing. Making sure we're doing it correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So another, uh, another community partner that's a really important part of our team are home builders. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> when it comes to our, our model homes and, you know, and spec homes, they all need furnishing. So we are, we, we very much rely on our builders mm -hmm. and we, we rely on them not only to turn out really great products, right? Cause we're standing behind their product. So we're looking for quality in their construction and then they depend on us and they want quality in their staging services. Right. So, yeah, Those are relationships that we've worked really hard to develop and relationships that we work really hard to maintain, you yeah. know, it's yeah. an important piece of our business and, um, you know, it's two different businesses helping each other. Yes. They go hand in hand. Yeah. No doubt. Mm -hmm. So we've covered, let's see, we've covered our subcontractors. We've covered our real estate agents. We've covered community partners, which is other local businesses. We've covered our technical people like our accountant and um, lawyer, builders, local vendors. vendors. And then, I mean, I guess the only thing that's left is you and me. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. No, we, 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 keep, uh, we keep these cogs turning. Yes, we do. Yes, right we on. Do. So that's, that's how we have built our team. And I think um, some pretty uh, solid framework in terms of looking at how to build your team if you're developing your home staging business. Yeah, and if there's anybody that we've missed, drop a comment below. Tell us who we've missed because we'd love to hear who, who's important in your team as well. Tell us what else you want to hear. Question of the week. If you have additional questions, please drop a comment below. Um, remember to tune in and uh, we'll keep releasing videos about starting your staging business and how to do so successfully. Um, hit the subscribe button and hit like on this video and, um, and thanks for watching.